Hi guys, welcome back to The Pulse. Today, I think we've got a great episode for you uh, featuring the CEO of Do Not Age. He answered a lot of questions that I posed to him and it got me thinking about how this whole relationship is working with Do Not Age as the supplement supplier, at least the primary one for, for myself and for a lot of you viewers. We'll talk more about you know competitor supplement companies in a moment because I'm not ignoring those. I just have one that I've tested and confirmed pure uh, and amend with, and their other supplements have worked well for me. So that's why I focus primarily on them. And of course, this interview is with their CEO. But we've sort of created this feedback loop because of their connection to uh, the researchers. Also, our connection, my connection, and, and the Do Not Ages connection with you guys as the consumers or the viewers. And this sort of feedback loop of information going around and around, this model sort of came to mind as I was going through his answers and thinking more about this topic. And also that there's a missing aspect of this that needs to be plugged in over time. And that's going to be a focus of my own going forward is to collect more data, talk more about the data-informed medicine that I think we need to be using to measure the results of not only supplements, but exercise, sleep quality. And when you think about the blood test companies like Let's Get Checked, where you can test your various blood markers, and also like the Apple Watch, when you think about where things are going, I think if we can connect all of these things, like what supplements am I taking? What am I eating? What should I be taking? What can I be taking? This picture, this profile, we can develop a profile that we could call a, a data-informed medical profile based on all of this information. So we need to take this feedback loop, I think, and also connect it with data, and that's a big goal going forward for the Pulse. So view Alan's remarks through the prism of this conceptual feedback loop and be thinking about your comments and your other questions because my questions were shaped by a lot of your comments. My first question for him was, you describe Do Not Age as a health research organization. What do you mean by the term and how does Do Not Age differ from other supplement brands? A health research organization, which means our goals are improving the health of our members as well as furthering the science of longevity through vital research. So comparisons between do not age to organ traditional supplement manufacturers always make me laugh because we're completely different. Um, I guess my vision for the future is that those companies will die out once consumers realize they are only interested in profit. And we'll see lots of health research organizations growing and helping more and more people to increase their health span. So he got a little testy there. Uh, them's fighting words, right? Talking about the competition. But I'd like to testify to that point a bit. So this channel, as I said, has been around for about a year, 10,000 subscribers, very close to it. I get emails all the time from various supplement manufacturers trying to recruit me, trying to get me to talk about their supplements. And some of them have like one made a point that they're liposomal, their, their products are liposomal. And I said, well, tell me more about the science behind it because I'd like to learn more. And so the recruiter guy writes back and he says, I've put our science officer on CC and he can answer your questions and talk to you more about that. And so I thought, great, you know, feedback loop. Let's get this information going. Crickets, no information, no follow-up email, nothing. Uh, another company wrote me an email, and these are actual emails I'm sharing, um, that he would top any affiliate rates I'm getting. Now we get a small percentage from Do Not Age to help with this channel when you use the code, my code, the Pulse, to buy your supplements from Do Not Age. But we don't get a lot of money, we don't get any cash payments, and we don't get any product placement. And so for a guy to approach me in his first email and suggest that I'm profit motivated, was kind of like, okay, he really he's speaking before he even knows me. He doesn't know why we're doing the channel. He clearly hasn't watched the videos. Um, there are ways to make money. Uh, there are ways to make money in medicine. You know, if you go to your doctor, this is profit motivated, right? Medicine, where you go to your doctor and you walk in and you say, I'm sick. And the person at the desk says, is your insurance information up to date, sir? Yes, yes, I'm good for it. I'll pay you, right? And you go into the doctor and he says, you're sick. You know, we, we did some research. We did some tests and, and you got this disease, but we could treat it. 
I'm like, great. What, what's the plan? What do we got to do? Well, first we have to check to see if your insurance company is going to pay for it. You know, they may, some of them only pay for this. They don't pay for that. And you need this and that, and you're going to have to pay for that. You know, so it's, it's profit motivated. It's money motivated. I don't fault them all for this. Although, you know, the free pharmaceutical retreats in Cabo, you know, are kind of, you know, come into question, but okay. That's the structure that we have. I'd like to see a structure that empowers the patient more and puts them in control of their data more so that we could stave off some of these illnesses. When you think about it, um, David Sinclair is not a medical doctor. He has a PhD, he's a researcher. Um, he's the one testing a lot of these supplements. I'm not a doctor. Alan Graves is not a doctor. But we're trying to find ways for people to avoid getting disease, right, in the first place. And I don't think you have to be a doctor to try to live a healthy life or to try to care about others or help promote a healthy life or to operate a feedback loop where we're all sharing information. I just don't think it, it's, it's necessary, although I'd like to plug in the medical doctors that are interested into this loop so that we can become even more efficient and get even better results for people and hopefully break this chain of the insurance companies deciding who gets treated for a disease and who doesn't. So my next question for Alan was, you recently announced some pretty big news about spermidine that will help impact a lot of people. Can you tell us more about your new gluten-free spermidine? So we recently changed our spermidine product from a wheat germ extract uh, ingredient to a pure spermidine. This is for a number of reasons. It means we now include eight milligrams instead of four milligrams per capsule. It also means that those that don't want to consume wheat don't have to. And of course, those that are celiacs can now benefit from the many advantages of spermidine. Really cool. Again, listening to end users. I had a VIP customer I'm calling him. He's a famous rock singer for a band. I'm not going to name him, but he started taking the supplements. I've known him for years since I was in the audio industry. And he said, you know, I'm gluten intolerant and I can't take the spermidine one, although I'm interested in it. So it's that feedback loop, right? Listening to customers and going back to then the researchers and trying to develop a product that's even better for more people. So it's pretty cool stuff. My next question for Alan was about apigenin. I said, can you tell us more about do not age apigenin and how it can help people that take NMN? Pure apigenin from do not age.org has been growing in popularity very rapidly as we understand the symbiotic relationship between boosting NAD and uh, controlling CD38. The best results that we see using the do not age.org NAD test kits is by those that have both pure NMN and pure apigenin in their stack. So they tend to have higher NAD levels and better results. More feedback loop, right? They're looking at the data coming back from end users and saying, hey, you know, NAD levels are going up more for people taking apigenin. Quite interesting stuff. Uh, my next question for Alan, you may have caught this in my previous video, but let's address this even more closely. Is refrigeration necessary for NMN? Um, as for NMN, the refrigeration is not required, but most people do it anyway for extra safety. For me, the most important thing you can do with your NMN is ensure the lid is replaced securely. So the reason we use the lids we do is because they give the best protection to our ingredients. Put the lid on it, okay? This product is stabilized, it's crystallized, it's dried. You don't need to refrigerate it, okay? So put a lid on it and let's put a lid on that uh, discussion <laughs> about refrigeration for NMN. It's really uh, not required. Um, the best way to take NMN, this question comes up all the time. So let's listen to Alan's response on that. In terms of the best way to take your NMN, it's first thing in the morning, swallow it. I use the capsules just like Dr. Sinclair, but for those that use powder, I'd recommend drinking it with water. As soon as you wake up, drinking it straight down, you know, there's no benefit. We know there's no benefit to these coatings that people are putting on NMN and putting it under your tongue and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't carry any benefits for your NAD levels. Okay, doesn't carry any benefits for your NAD levels. That doesn't mean you can't take uh, a liposomal. That doesn't mean you can't take it in a capsule that will avoid your gastrointestinal tract if you're having nausea from taking it. So I take it under my tongue 
because based on feedback from a couple of viewers, I believe it's why it's helping my sinuses. It's getting in the bloodstream, not just in the body, but also getting somehow into the sinus tract. I just believe that. I've, it's been my realization of taking an amount out of the tongue. I like taking it that way. I take most of my dosage in the morning, as he says. I do take some in the afternoon because I exercise a lot in the afternoon. So not everybody's the same. Uh, again, feedback loop, right? We need to hear from more people. That's my take on it, but you have his take on it. And uh, his take on it's gonna be based on a cross section, a large cross section of end users. So I think very important to consider. The next thing I asked Alan was, can you update us about the CERT6 activator? Because this is something there's been tons of talk about over the past year uh, since it came out just under a year ago. CERT6 so activator is now a human trial with cancer patients and the very difficult process to procure it is being worked on so that we can get more in stock and of course then help more people. So with so many scientists, researchers and high profile celebrities taking the ingredient, it really is an exciting time as we make a huge change to so many lives. So CERT6 activator uh, is a phacoidian, comes from seaweed, uh, been heavily researched. It's already being tested, as he said, on uh, cancer recoverers, people uh, undertaking chemotherapy, that's being spearheaded by Vera Gorbanova, who helped Do Not Age come up with the formula for the CERT6 activator. They have to test it constantly because only 20% of seaweed can activate uh, CERT6 or 2 and 6. So quite fascinating stuff. It's a fascinating product. I take it myself. Uh, the next product I asked him about is sephoraphane because it's been found to be beneficial. Um, it exists in plants. It's a plant molecule. They have what's apparently the most powerful uh, sephoraphane booster uh, on the market. So listen to his comments about sephoraphane or sephora boost. So sephora boost continues to go from strength to strength. And within 12 months, we're going to have a lot of aggregated data from the tens of thousands of members taking it. It obviously activates the NRF2 pathway. And as sulfora boost is the most powerful sulforaphane boosting ingredient in the world, you can see why it's becoming more and more popular. It's a very exciting ingredient. And we actually have more clinical trials ready to roll out using sulfora boost. And of course, everybody on our email list will be kept updated with the results of those. So they provide their supplements to researchers doing clinical trials. So certainly when they come up with their own product like Sephora Boost, they're gonna provide that to clinical trials and then they share that information. Again, feedback loop, and then we can all respond and we can re respond about our results. The, the NRF2 pathway is the mechanism for broccoli sprouts, for example, that contains Sephora fame naturally. Fresh broccoli sprouts are hard to get your hands on and don't necessarily taste so great. So it's a lot more convenient to take a, a supplement to get those. But I, as always, I recommend try to take the plants that contain the supplements. Uh, all of the do not age supplements exist naturally in various foods. If you eat those foods, which are healthy foods, you can only benefit more, it just stands to reason. I asked Alan about the label Pure, which is on a lot of their supplements. And why is it, why is it so important that dietary supplements be pure? Um, I, th I think it's a really important note, this one actually as well, because it's just vital for people to understand that as a health research organization, everything do not age.org provides is in its most bioavailable form. And if anyone's got any questions, they can reach out to us. We're more than happy to answer them. So bioavailability is the answer to the purity question. It's also seems like common sense. Again, I love that he invites more questions from people. You can write them at hello at do not age.org, by the way. Um, the final question is obviously a very big one for a lot of people, comes up all the time. Price is often a barrier for people who wish to start taking high quality, pure supplements. And what's the best way for people to get the best price? The best way for members to reduce the price is to subscribe. On the product page, there's a link to the subscription page, which allows you to make a huge saving. So you can subscribe, you can update that subscription. You can also use my code, the pulse to save an additional 10%, not only on that subscription, but at any time you reorder from Do Not Age, you can use the pulse. So you can use it repeatedly, including when there are big sales, like clearly their Black Friday sale, which I'm sure will come up again this year. Use the code, the polls to save money. Subscribe, like this video, share it with folks. Let's hit that 10,000 subscriber number soon. And thanks for watching.